to CNA Security Real World Labs ASA Files. When I decided to record a series to CNA Security Real World Labs, I really wanted to include like a small course inside dedicated to ASA firewalls. Why? Well, because you can't really find uh, anything online. Not a lot of uh, companies decided to to go for training like that. And I know a lot of people, you know, people are interested in ASA firewalls. So CNA Security, Cisco added ASAs a few years ago and that was that was a great thing it's still really basics right how to assign an IP address and uh, implement an SSL VPN portal my goal was to show you some more advanced features as well they're not difficult but they're really really great and they show what ASAs can really do that's why I decided to include failover, right? To factor authentication, things like that. On the other hand, I appreciate that you maybe you joined my training, you bought the labs because you wanted to learn about ASAs from scratch, right? You're not really interested in CCNA security, you want to learn about ASAs. And that's that's what I want to cover in in this lecture, and probably it will have uh, two lectures dedicated to that. It's we'll talk about ASAs in general. If you know everything about hardware, software, how it runs, what ASDM is, yeah, feel free to skip. It is designed for people who you know who start their uh, career with uh, ASA firewalls. I will talk about hardware software things that you need to know if you want to start with ASA firewalls. Let's go to I prepared a few pictures for you. That is ASA 5505. That's that's the guy here, right? This is a small office home office firewall with a built-in switch that's the cheapest ASA you can get 5505 there are eight ports and what is really great Cisco decided to add two PoE ports it means you can connect an IP phone an access point a PoE device port number seven and six they are PoE there is a slot for a module that is end of life now that was for IPS not a popular solution in, in ASA 5505 because it was really expensive ASA's can run two licenses it's base and security plus 5505 and it can double your price I encourage you to go online and compare the features with the base license Cisco decided to limit a lot of interesting features you cannot do failover dual ISPs you cannot uh, create a trunk route between your VLANs they limited a lot of features that is ASA 5505 of course we have a console port and two USB ports. It's a small box designed for a small office home office environment. 5505 and that's what I recommend for uh, for your lab as well and if you want to create a network at home. Below we can see the next generation ASAs, right? ASAs People have been waiting for the next generation ASAs for years. Cisco, they had to do that to match all other companies, really. They were really behind when you think about things like throughput, uh, interfaces, features. They were really behind. It was really crazy. You, you, you had to go for 
the highest ASA to match a small office home office device uh, made by somebody else. It was really crazy. Not good for Cisco either. That's why they introduced 5500X. I encourage you to visit that website here. Here. Everybody says it's next generation firewalls, right? The first ASAs were next generation firewalls as well, right? A very popular term that you can find everywhere. What I want to show you is, it's a really nice table. It shows what these boxes can do. ASA 5505, that's 150 megabits per second. Uh, SPI throughput. 5510 is was replaced by 5512X. And please note what what Cisco upgraded here. That there is no magic behind. It's just a better CPU memory and some tweaks in the way that uh, packets and uh, firewall solutions work. Yep. Yeah? Mm, IPS throughput is not impressive. However, you don't need a module. For the old ASAs, a module was required. It was really expensive. Uh, not something that everybody could buy. Now you need a license only. Still really expensive. Okay, connections per second. Uh, please note they, they improved everything. Of course, we will have gigabit ports. Six gigabit ports. I have a picture of that firewall. I think 55, 15. Not sure why this is not available. Still, you can put a pair of ASAs, but okay. And I found a picture of an ASA 5515X. We've got six gigabit ports. Let me move it a little. Yeah. Console port, management port, USB, a slot for additional modules like if you want to add a module with fiber optic port things like that and a fixed power supply you need that's what what you can find from the hardware's point of view i encourage you to go online see what's available you can ask okay how much do i have to pay for an asa like that uh, it, it it is not cheap. It's not cheap. Fifty five. Fifty five twelve X with an IPS module. It is more than two thousand pounds. In this video, we talked about ASA firewalls. Hardware. I showed you what ASAs are available. I encourage you to go online. See how much you have to pay for for a firewalk. Compare uh, licenses that are available. It is really important to have a very good idea what Cisco decided to prepare for you. Thank you very much.